Hi, I'm Moonwater Silverclaw, and I'm the founder of GoddessHasYourBack.com and the author of nine books and two online courses. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how witches stand tall when people use fear as a weapon. Do you constantly search the news and watch shows that tell about all the horrible things that are happening? There are people who use people's fear to get them angry, to get their votes and to control their behavior. I'm concerned about each individual being manipulated by people who use fear as a weapon. I have three insights for you. The first one is acknowledge the fear. Acknowledge you have fear and look at it. Understand where the dark parts of you are and acknowledge those pieces of you. I've learned that if you name the fear, it can get smaller than being in the darkness. When the fear is in the darkness, it feels bigger. Also, when you acknowledge the fear, you have an advantage because people can't use that fear against you. Also, when you acknowledge the fear, you can take better care of yourself. You can do ritual and connect with the gods to help you overcome your fears or at least calm down for a while. And now our second insight. Do not engage. If you engage somebody, the fear can grow. And then anger can take over. If you engage in social media, your fear can also grow and anxiety can soon follow. On YouTube and Facebook, the algorithms lean you towards fear and show you the things that you're most afraid of. Because every click you make makes the algorithms deliver more of that same content. For example, I don't use social media to keep up with the news. A lot of times the information there is false or misleading. I reserve one hour a day to look into news and I avoid clicking on social media for the rest of the day. And now our third insight. Shift with the gods. If you feel fear, you can acknowledge it, but don't engage it and then ask the gods to help shift that fear into action that is beneficial to you and everyone else. You can do ritual, or perhaps you might do some volunteer work so that your efforts can be part of a solution. And you can dedicate that effort and work to the gods. You can also do a chant to shift your perception. For example, here's a possible chant that you can do. My Lord and Gracious Lady, help me focus on today. Shift me to feel your support and love so that I can rise above. So mote it be. And now I will summarize. The first insight was acknowledge the fear. The second insight was do not engage. And the third insight is shift with the gods. I'm Moonwater Silverclaw. To go further and deeper, you can try one of my nine books. And for more information, you can also go to my website, goddesshasyourback.com and moonwatersilverclaw.com. I also have two courses on Udemy.com. The first one is Goddess Style Weight Loss, and the second one is Spiritual Solution for Depression Relief. May all of these help your journey. Blessed be.